Coming away to university for the first time can be a difficult experience. What it means is it can be difficult to stop your overconcerned parents sending you off to university with every kitchen appliance, utensil and gadget known to man. But never fear because Joe and Tom are here and we're going to go through all the things which are going to be really useful to take. And all the things that are just going to take up space in your kitchen that you'll never use. What I've got around me now is a typical student kitchen with two big differences. One, it's not filthy and two, it's empty. When I started uni, everyone brought the same stuff, meaning that our flat looked like this. So, if you want to avoid your kitchen looking like this, here's my top 10 list of essential kitchen utensils. A good chopping board is always essential. You don't want to be chopping straight onto the tops, so make sure you get yourself one of these. A good frying pan is worth investing in. You want to look for something with quite a thick bottom, make sure you get a good one because you're going to be using it a lot. I don't really need to tell you why you need a colander because it's pretty obvious. However, I will say, if you get one with small holes, it makes it more versatile because then you can use it for rice as well as pasta and draining vegetables. Mash it up with a masher. You can mash whatever you want because it's mashing mashos. Yoda. The best companion in the kitchen you can ever have. Make sure you bring all your own cutlery. Knives, forks, spoons, baby spoons. It doesn't have to be very good because it will go missing, but make sure you have it. A saucepan. Again, a very versatile kitchen utensil. It's probably worth getting two or three saucepans of different sizes, so then you can have a few things on the go as well if you're cooking pasta and a pasta sauce. A measuring jug, an essential piece of equipment if you want to make any gravies, any bases, any sauces, you're going to need it. Also, top qual if your shower's broke. There are many ways you can open a can, for instance, throwing it at a wall. I personally prefer to use a tin opener, it's invaluable. Make sure you get yourself a set of plates, bowls and side plates. Don't spend a lot of money on them because they'll break and they go missing all the time. A good knife is something you will regret not buying. It is absolutely essential and you'll always be thankful you've got it. I didn't include microwaves, kettles or toasters in that list because in some cases these are provided for you. Check your university's website to find out more. The following items are strictly not allowed in kitchens at Loughborough University. Incense and candles, rice cookers unless purchased in the UK, chip pans or the use of oils in saucepans deep fat fryers, grills of any kind, or inside barbecue trays. If you want to know more about your new halls, visit the accommodation page on the university website to find out all you need to know. Or you can contact the Student Accommodation Centre directly using the details on your screen now. Top score! Now you've got all your gear, you're going to need some food to use on it. I'd suggest for your first shop, once your rentals have gone, start as you mean to carry on. You don't want to be buying lots of luxury items. So here's my list of essential ingredients. Pasta. Not very tasty raw, but very tasty cooked. You has to have some pasta. Onions. Everyone's favourite eye-watering vegetable. Onions are used in cooking all the time. Chopped tomatoes. Tomatoes that have been chopped up into pieces and put in a can. It's chopped tomatoes. Stock cubes, little cubes of stock that you used to make more stock. It's stock cubes. No, it's not a hairy Brussels sprout. It's everyone's favourite intergalactic Jedi. Yoda. Garlic. Like me, it's not a hit with the ladies, but definitely a hit in our top ten. Garlic may give you bad breath, but it make me go, mmm. Housed in these delightful little shakers. Salt and pepper are condiments that no student kitchen should be without. Olive oil and rice. We found that cooking with olive oil is far tastier than cooking with motor oil, so it's in our top 10. And who can't beat a bit of rice as a treat? I know I can't. So we've got all the basics. These are the things you want to be keeping in your cupboards at all times. Isn't that right, Yoda? Mmm, correct you are, Joe. Now you've got all the right equipment, all you need to do is get cooking some delicious recipes. So visit www.studentcooking.tv and get cooking. If you've got a mate that can't cook, a fridge that needs pimping, or fancy squaring up against a professional chef, then get in touch and we could be in your kitchen. Check out the website to find everything you need to know about cooking at uni. From how to feed yourself on less than a fiver, to how to throw a meal for your mates. Only on www.studentcooking.tv